When trying to understand the responsibilities of an ethical hacker, all of this really breaks down into what are you expected to do in preparation and throughout the process of the penetration test or the vulnerability assessment. And the first thing that we're going to harp on, and we actually continue to talk about this throughout our course, is using this knowledge and these tools only for the good side, only for legal purposes. Because again, you're going to be under a lot of scrutiny when you're in there performing assessments against these companies. First of all, companies don't like to hear that they have two or three hundred vulnerable systems sitting on their network. And they're going to be watching you like a hawk. So understanding what your responsibilities are as far as ethically and legally are very important. We only want to use our hacking skills to identify issues, keeping in mind that our ultimate goal is to defend the network. In other words, hacking a system and spending a lot of time and resources against a vulnerability that's really not that important is not our goal. We're not there to identify every single little small vulnerability that might exist. We're there to find out what the hackers can see. We want to see it from their perspective, and we want to defend ourselves based on that. So we want to keep this in mind throughout the process. It's very easy to get caught up in, I'm going to break into this system, I'm going to root this box, I'm going to do this and this. Be sure to concentrate. We're here to defend the network. If we can succeed with an attack, let's find out what we can do to mitigate that. As always, and as I'll mention several times throughout the course, we always have to get management approval. And the term management is kind of used loosely because that can mean corporate executives, legal counsel, local and federal law enforcement, depending on your target. There's a lot of parties involved in that process. We want to create a plan. And again, we're not just going to sit in the basement with a black light hacking away on a Linux box all day long. That's not our goal. We have to be more corporate and project plan minded. We want to create our project plan or our test plan, identify the parameters. And when I say parameters, that means what exactly are we going to do? What tools are we going to use? What attack venues are we going to explore? What are ultimately going to be the goals of this test? In other words, if the goal is to identify one system and the associated vulnerabilities on a particular Tier 1 application, for example, a very important app, that's all we're going to do. We identify that, we establish a timeline, we go in, we perform the work, and we come out with a completed vulnerability assessment or penetration test. We also want to get that plan approved by management. Make sure they understand fully the processes that you're going through so they can identify those if they have any IDS systems running on the network and watch for abnormal activity on the servers. So we want to be clear about our notification. And again, I know I've harped on this a lot already, your job is to be there to strengthen the network, to help them define those vulnerabilities so that they can protect against them. So always keep that in mind.